guys welcome back okay so I picked up these new little limited edition eyeshadow palettes from profusion super duper cute they're eight pan palettes and they are five dollars each and they have all these different color stories which are so so cute perfect for spring and summer okay and I want to play with one today but first I want to go ahead and swatch each one just in case you're thinking about picking them up and you want to see how they swatch I'm gonna swatch each one and then I'm gonna pick one to use today so let me just give you a look at what they look like so this one is called electric blues and as you can see they do have the clear um, square here in the covering when you open it up it does have a little plastic film on top and it has like a screen print of a cassette case so I guess they're trying to make it look like a little cassette um, which is really cute well let me go ahead and pull that off so we can look at these shades okay so this is what the blue one looks like of course as you can see there's no mirror it's just a clear um, plastic square here and it is fairly cheap but for five bucks eight shadows you know <laughs> you're not gonna expect too much on the packaging but I love how they have this on a green background because it really helps to show the pretty colors from the blues that are in here so it looks like there's what about three shimmers and five mattes so a very nice color story of course you're definitely going to get a very blue look with this they're all kind of like in the same tone if you will so let's go ahead and swatch this one right quick so these are all the shadows from the electric blues palette not bad not bad at all and you guys I am pretty much a profusion eyeshadow fan I do like their eyeshadows I think for the price they are a very very good buy so let's check out the yellow one so the yellow one is called yellow fusion and this is what she looks like reminds me of a lemon drop here very very pretty and I really really like this blue background because it makes that yellow pop and I do like the fact that they have a nice dark brown shade in here to complement these yellows so let's go ahead and swatch this one Okay, so this is the yellow palette. And as you can see, that darker brown shade is not as dark as I had hoped it would be. <laughs> so yeah, I'm a little disappointed in that. It's still a pretty shade, just not as dark as I'd hoped it would be. And it's funny because these uh, three shades look very, very similar. These two almost look identical. So it looks like basically a lot of the matte yellows, you're gonna get the same outcome. Um, with a lighter shimmer and then a darker shimmer so just kind of like a basic <laughs> yellow palette nothing extraordinary but yeah this shade I really wish it, sh wish it showed up a little bit darker on my skin tone okay now this palette is called bangin pinks so so pretty I think this one is one of my favorites it's so so gorgeous this one and the blue one actually are my favorites very very pretty and this is what she looks like. So let's go ahead and swatch this one. So these are the shades from the pink. Not extremely impressive to me. I mean, this one looks really, really bright and gorgeous. This shadow here, the second one, doesn't really look like it swatched that well, but you know, we'll see how it performs. And this light shimmer here, it's pretty, very, very faint. 
What I have noticed with the shimmers from these palettes is that once you do kind of swirl your finger in them to swatch them, they kind of start to feel like they might get hard pan. So I wouldn't be surprised if they do get hard pan. <laughs> Cause that's just how they feel after I put my finger in there to swatch them and lastly I have here upbeat orange gorgeous orange palette and this is what she looks like so let's go ahead and swatch the orange Okay, so this is the orange palette. So what I will say after swatching all of the palettes is that the swatches leave a lot to be desired from me. I think the best one swatch wise was the blue one in my opinion. I mean, but each of these, they do show a nice, beautiful color story. I don't expect that much from the shimmers when using these um, because I don't know if you can see, but like when you swatch it, it kind of feels like it's going to give that hard pan after a while, but they are pretty. So now I have to just decide which one I want to use today. I think I'm going to try out the orange because I really don't do orange eyeshadow and you know, it'll be something different for me and I want to see how this is going to perform. And all of these palettes are cruelty free and they do have a 24 month shelf life. On the back of each palette, it does list the ingredients for the shadows here. It does have a cute little blurb up here about these palettes and it gives you the additional information that you need to know. So I'm gonna prep my lids with some of my e.l.f. All Day Stay Eyeshadow Primer. I should use a white primer. Okay, so today I'm gonna to use my MAC Soft Ochre Paint Pot to prep my lids just to try and give these shadows the best possible chance at showing up on my lids. <laughs> now the MAC Soft Ochre Paint Pot looks like this, so it does have a lighter base. Okay, you guys, so I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to just go ahead, do my eye look, and then I will give you my thoughts as far as this palette once I'm done with the completed look.
Okay, you guys, I'm back. So this is the final look from this Profusion Upbeat Orange Eyeshadow Palette. Now, what I will say, first impressions on this palette is I think it's probably about worth $5. <laughs> Just being honest with you, I definitely think, okay, $5, that was a pretty decent price for this because while the shadows are buildable, you know, you can see the color there, the pigment is there, they are extremely dusty and crumbly when you use them. Now, when I was putting on these shades, um, in my crease and blending out my outer corner, which I did use quite a few of the mattes. I used one, two, three, four. I used four mattes and I used both of the shimmers in here, which this is a shimmer and this is a shimmer, which is kind of hard for me to call this a shimmer because it really has no shim, okay? <laughs> this one has some shim. This one doesn't have any shim to me in my opinion at all. So yeah i would say first impression yeah it was probably worth about five dollars after using the elf palettes and experiencing the quality that i can get from a little four pan three dollar palette very very nice this is a little bit disappointing um and like i said the reason is because the shadows are very very dusty although they do build up and you can't get the pigment it's going to take a bit of building up to get the color, at least on my skin tone. And you guys know I did use a lighter base. I did use my MAC Soft Ochre Paint Pot for this palette. But, mm, yeah, there's just so many other options out there that are still affordable, that work a lot easier and a lot better. I really wouldn't suggest this palette. I haven't tried the ColourPop orange you glad palette i think it's called but i haven't tried that one i'm kind of curious now to kind of compare this one to that one even though with the color pop formula i can pretty much guarantee it's better than this <laughs> okay so yeah just first impression the shimmers aren't very shimmy they're a little crumbly and the mattes are very powdery they are buildable but i think with me using all the shades in this palette even you know the two darker shades this is pretty much all I can do with this palette. This look right here, because I have the darkest colors in my outer corners. I have both shimmers on my lid and I have the orange in my crease. So this is basically the only look I could do with this palette. And while I do like it, I think it's very cute, very spring-like. Um, if you are on a budget and looking for, you know, a kind of cheap, affordable palette, I would kind of consider maybe going up to the ColourPop range. Maybe even You Can Be or Delancey type range for, you know, just a better performing palette. Like I said, it's not a horrible palette. It's not bad or terrible. As you can see, you can create a nice look with it. But yeah, I definitely think this is worth $5. Maybe even $4.99. <laughs> So anyways, that's my first impression on this palette. Now, I haven't used the other three palettes. I mean, who knows, they could perform better. I'm really hoping that the blue one does perform better because y'all know blue is my stilo and I'm kind of excited to check it out. So I might go ahead and check that one out next. But yeah, as far as these palettes, I think, you know, $5 is a fair price for eight shadows that perform like this. So that's just my first impression, y'all. <laughs> oh, and I almost forgot these earrings are from my girl DJ's Unique Boutique. If you like them, check out her website. It is always linked in my description box. So yeah, super duper cute for spring and summer. So I felt like I'd go ahead and rock these with this orange look. So anyways, thank you guys so much for hanging out with me to try out one of these Perfusion palettes and just kind of swatch them and see what's going on. And that's it for today. Thank you so much for hanging out and I will see you on the next one. Toodles!